Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechDragger.info and today I have a very short video, I talked about this in yesterday's review of this um, keyboard here and about being able to reassign, uh, reassign normal keys so what I've done is I've disabled the caps lock because I never use it and it's just freaking annoying when you accidentally hit it so that's one thing I turned off um, Another thing is, I've switched around these keys. As you can see here, this is not the normal lo uh, layout. Scroll lock is normally uh, right here. Print screen used to be, yeah, right here. And the insert key was there. So I've actually, with that little ring thing, meeting, I showed you in the other video, taken out the keys, very easy. You literally just push it onto the key, it will click, and you lift it out. Super, super easy. Wonderful tool, and should work on most keyboards. So that's pretty damn sweet. Um, removing keys have, has never been as easy as with that thing, so quite happy with that. Anywho, so this key I don't ever use. Like I don't think in current day keyboards this thing even has a use. I'm not even sure why they still put it on. This uh, dates back to the IBM time, IBM uh, keyboards, like one of the first keyboards. And it was a way to um, lock your scroll, so I think the arrow keys actually moved your text rather than um, go through the text, you know, go to the next line and the next column, that sort of shit, it will actually move them or something like that. Um, not entirely sure, but in current day, I I can honestly say I've never used this function. I don't even know exactly what it does, so I've repurposed it. As you can see over here, now this will still show you what the keys were, so IN, insert. I have now remapped it to be delete. Yes, these are both delete because my previous keyboard had a big delete key so I keep finding myself hitting this key um, you know ever so slightly as well as this one so I just turn them both into deletes pretty sweet um, as for the home end page up page down this used to be page up page down and home end used to be underneath each other as well um, end used to be here and page up used to be here I've actually switched these out and as you can see in the software here um, page up is now there end is now there uh... wait no the way around <laughs> kinda confusing um... yeah so the way you do this, this is kind of weird but that's kind of why i'm making this video um... the way you change these keys is you click on them, you do single key and you hit the key you want it to be however it seems to already apply the instant you do this which is rather annoying if you're trying to set you know switch two keys around so what I've been doing I guess it's a really easy way it's just an extra process um, which kinda sucks but no this is correct this is the end key so I just hit this key and it's definitely end um, hmm that's weird oh right you have to hover over it to see the actual function I thought that this was the what it was no it actually says insert right right okay it's just me being stupid anyways so the same thing still applies. Like you hover over them, you can see what they actually are to function. But the issue I had is that, well, let's say I want to move this home key, right? And I want this to be, um, let's say, page up. Now, if I then want to say, okay, that's page up, so I now want F11 to be my home key. So let's hit the home key, and oh shit, it's already page up. So I just hit the home key and it already registers this page up so kind of annoying you have ok and apply ok will apply it and close this uh, screen apply will just apply it without closing the screen but within the software it already applies it it's kind of annoying so you can't really switch the keys out so what i've been doing is like ok i want to move this, this and this key i'll set up, up uh, i'll set those keys up on f9 to f12 then I'll switch the keys and then I'll, you know, hit the appropriate F key to set whatever I'm setting. Now it's a bit of work to do it that way, um, but it's the easiest way where you don't have to juggle like I have to do this key first and then that key and then that key and then that key and, you know, try to make a loop like that. And then once you're done, you just click here, reset keys default and ta-da, it's home again. So that's how I've been switching these around and that's how I've just customized my keyboard. So. Yeah, these two keys are now uh, delete, page up, and end have switched places because I'm used to this being home end, and page up, page down used to be actually underneath each other. But what are you gonna do? The layout isn't exactly the same, so this will do. Um, at least you know I, the the one I use a lot is end, home and end. And if that one isn't correct, like I was hitting 
uh, page up the whole time and it's really annoying so yep and then uh, my insert I actually used for my recording key so I was used to recording and I kept hitting my uh, what was here uh, uh, pause break I think no print screen print screen print screen used to be here so I keep hitting print screen it's like why is it not record oh it was there that's like so that's the loveliness of this keyboard. You can literally go into the software, pick up your keys, place them somewhere else, and without having to do any magic, just in its own software, you can fix it. Now the only problem is if you want to set up multiple layers for different shit. So if you want to play different, ga you know, with any game like it's set in the other video, if you want to switch profiles or layers, that's what they call them here, not profiles, profiles, something else. Profiles you should basically see as applications, like select different applications. And then the layers is just different functions within that application. But um, if I want to make new layers, I'm going to have to do all this in the other layers as well. Because as you can see, the only thing I have is the caps lock disabled in the different layers. But oh well. And for some reason, one thing more to note is that the on-screen display does not seem to work. Once you uh, switch layers, let me show you here with F12 and then say profile switch. So you can switch to different profiles here. One, two, the arrow keys are here. It's a bit of a weird interface. And you can switch different layers, as you can see. But whenever you switch layers, it doesn't actually show you. Maybe it's only with um, profile switching that it will show you. Let's try that out real quick. So F12. F12. Oh, wait. Apply. F12. Nope. Like, it switches in my... Uh, software here obviously as you saw let's switch it back there we go um, but it doesn't actually show me the on-screen display so that seems to be broken um, not the end of the world I mean but it's just a little bit annoying it's nice to know what profile you're on but if you just set up things like you know uh, layer 1, layer 2, layer 3 then it's not that difficult but you could make a toggle uh, to switch between all your layers and you basically do that by let's say F1 is going to be your toggle then you set F1 up to Profile switch. I want to stay within the same profile, but I want to go to the next layer, right? So you do that, then you hit F1, and you end up here. Then you set the same key, profile switch, I want you to go to layer number three. Then you go to the next one, and then you say profile switch, profile one, layer one. So now when I hit this one, let's let's apply this. Okay, so I'm hitting F1. There we go. We go to profile number one. I'm go hitting F1 again. Go to profile. So this way you can turn it into a toggle by just setting the same function to the same key on um, all of your layers and just set them to the next layer. So that's how you can make a toggle uh, between your layers. And reset the default. Apply. So there we go. There is some little tips and tricks you can do with the Sharkoon Skeller keyboard. Still quite pleased with it, and yeah, I love that you can so easily switch the keys around if you don't like the order that they're in. It's fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.